Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to create flashcards online using Quizlet. If you're, not, if you're not familiar with Quizlet, it's a free online website that allows students to study through flashcards. So we're going to begin by clicking on Quizlet.com. All you need is an email to um, create an account. As you can see up here in the corner, I already have an account. So in order to create your own set of flashcards, you're going to start by hitting the create button on the top. So once you hit that, it brings you to this um, like screen. It's a blank template, basically. So for this example, we're going to say I am studying for an economics test. So I'm going to label my set as economics. And in my description, I'm going to say chapter 3, supply and demand. Just so I know, so when I go back, I know that this set was specifically for my third chapter. So you're going to scroll down, and as you can see, I already have something written. So these boxes here are um, essentially your flashcard. So you're going to start by typing, let's say, law of supply. So once you start typing, it comes up with three suggestions. For you and I'm gonna click on the first one so it brings you over here to type in the definition just like it did on the term side it gives you three other um, preferred definitions so let's say I like the second one another great thing about Quizlet is that you can select an image so unfortunately you need um, Quizlet plus to upload your own however you can use the ones that they supply for you so let's say I like this picture better. Um, so when you, I'll hit create so I can show you what it looks like. Just kidding. So say we add another one and we're going to do law of demand. Another great thing about this is that you can add bullet points, you can add um, parentheses, and something that I learned while using this is that you can bold certain items. So, for example, I say as price increases. Now I want to bold the word increase, so you're going to use an asterisk and write increases and another asterisk. And you'll see later why that makes sense. And then you're going to say, um, we'll finish up the definition quantity demanded and then we're gonna also bold this and say decreases. Now it's really important that you put the asterisks both in front and at the end of the word and then we're gonna hit create. So it bring it gives you this link here that you can share with other people. So for instance say you and a friend are studying for a class and you want to share your set with a friend that you could just hit copy link and then you can share it. So this is what it looks like. So here you can see that and it also speaks to you. As you can see that this word, these two words were bolded. Another cool thing is there you go, it has the image there for you so you can see you have a nice visual. And yeah, it's really super easy to use and it's helped me a lot in school. So I hope this makes sense to you guys.